it's been quite a long time since Honda has really hit the spot with a new Civic. More than 15 years ago, the 8th generation car looked like it arrived from Mars, but over the years it's gotten bigger and fussier until the sparkle just disappeared. Just look at the current model. But it's the Civic's 50th anniversary this year, and as you can see, Honda is having another crack at it. This is the brand new Honda Civic, and as you can see, it looks like Honda has listened, doesn't it? Because all the creases, the slashes, the gills, they've disappeared. This car looks much classier, much smoother, much slicker than before. The new Civic has a lower bonnet line than before as well, which hides a brand new hybrid engine. More on that later. There's a sleek sloping roofline too, and careful thought has gone into the design to make the Civic better to live with. It's a family hatchback after all, and it has a job to do. Now the key change on the design front is this much larger glass house. Now Honda says that makes the car feel much more light and airy inside and you've also got these A-pillars which have been shifted back to place them further out of your field of view. Now Honda is usually really good at this ergonomic stuff but let's see if it's worked. Obviously without driving the car it's difficult to tell but I think the view out looks pretty good and you've also got a nice driving position. I'm over six foot tall, not a lot of hashbacks fit me very well, but this one seems to. I've got a nice driving position, the steering wheel comes out to meet me, and the cabin design itself, well, like the exterior, it's not show-stopping in here, but there are a few nice details. So you've got this honeycomb finish on the vent, you've got these knurled climate controls, physical climate controls as well, which is a plus from us, and you've also got this sort of scratchy finish on the center console, that isn't so appealing, but overall fit and finish is pretty strong and it's a nice cabin. And you've also got really good tech in here too. So the central touchscreen is a nine inch, really crisp, clear screen, and it's lifted from the HRV and the Honda Jazz. And we liked it in those cars and we like the system here as well. Really snappy, responsive. You've got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay in there as well. And in this top spec car, well, we've got a 10 inch digital gauge cluster. So yeah, you're pretty kitted out in terms of tech. So the Civic is actually really pleasant inside and there's lots of safety tech as well, like a 100 degree front camera to detect other vehicles, road markings and pedestrians, lane keep assist and a cross traffic monitor. Honda has also extended the Civic's wheelbase by 35 millimeters, which should make it more roomy in the back, in theory. Well, as you can see, it's actually quite spacious back here. Thanks to that extended wheelbase of the new Civic, got plenty of knee room, got space to put my feet under the front seat. The rear seats are nice and comfortable. You get synthetic leather trim in this advanced model. I will say that the sloping roof line of the car does intrude on headroom just a little bit. If you're over six foot, that might be a problem, but it is a nice place to spend time back here. And you've also got a couple of USB ports down here to keep your devices topped up that longer wheelbase should give the car more stability at speed as well. And Honda is making big claims about the new Civic's handling. The engineers have really focused on making it direct and grippy this time around, and they're going after the BMW 1 Series. It bodes well for the Type R version, but we'll have to wait and see if they've actually cracked it. But first, let's address the biggest change for the new Civic, that new hybrid engine. So here it is, the biggest draw of the new Civic. It's now hybrid only, and we've got a two liter petrol engine combined with two electric motors to give 181 brake horsepower. But the important figure is that this car develops 315 Newton meters of torque. Now that's loads, that's almost hot hatch levels of poke. And it all drives through Honda's eCVT gearbox, and it should switch between EV mode, hybrid mode, and combustion engine power pretty seamlessly. So the powertrain is pretty clever, and Honda is promising over 56 miles per gallon on the WLTP cycle. What isn't so clever is the new Civic's smaller boot. So Honda is quoting a boot capacity of 400 litres for the new Civic. Now that's about 70 litres down on the previous model, but it is still more than a rival like the Volkswagen Golf. But the main reason for the lower capacity is this battery pack underneath the rear seats there. And you've also got this more heavily raked roof line that eats into your boot capacity as well. So it does look like a pretty solid package so far and the new Civic comes at a time when the Volkswagen Golf is probably the weakest it's been in ages. But what do you think of it? Let us know down below and thanks very much for watching.